In a land filled with stories, in a land where legends thrive, and the heroes in all the glory are forever kept alive. There's one spectre, one awesome vision that stands above the rest, my friend. He's got one mission. Now it's time to ride again. Red Raider coming at you, riding through the night with the fury of the West Texas wind. Red Raider coming at you, what a beautiful sight. The Texas Tech Red Raider is riding, 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 riding again. Great thing is for donation. Today, we take on the Texas State Horned Frogs in Fort Worth. Now, we are coming off a major, major upset against West Virginia. And Texas Christian is also coming off their upset against Baylor. One key thing we need to do in this game to make sure we win is basically don't let this go to our head. Don't let us beating West Virginia just ruin the rest of the season like our big win against Oklahoma did last year. Because we are in a good position right now to have a good bowl if we continue to win games. And Texas Christian is not really a opponent that should be taken lightly at all. Since they have probably the, one of the best defense we have played this year, right behind Oklahoma. And their offense is not any joke either. With their backup quarterback, which came in two games ago, already throwing for about more attempts then they'll lead Pacho and he's already has around 605 yards total overall so this guy can really pass the ball quite well and he's one of the top rushing quarterbacks not rushing quarterbacks he's one of the top rushers on his team yeah so it's a good episode. It's up to our defense to really make so he doesn't go anywhere at all. For we don't want this guy breaking up out to the open field right now. Although the last game showed we can make open field tackles, it's for our best interest that we don't allow him to control the play on the ground and let's see if our defense deserves this newfound ranking in the top five shall we yeah we in for the receivers we need to really block two receivers two receivers in particular Brandon Cardell who has about 26 receptions for 425 yards but the longest being at six, D eight, and he has four touchdowns. And Josh Boyce, who has about thirty receptions for three hundred and eighty-one yards, but the longest being sixty-six, and also four touchdowns. Now, if we can prevent those receivers from doing anything at all, we have we have a chance to set their offense off balanced completely. And since we're playing away in a place like TCU when we haven't read in a while, yeah, that'd be a good thing to the crowd out of the game real quickly. Because the crowd effect at TCU 
may have a will have a impact on us. But luckily, since it's in the Metroplex, there'll be a lot of elevators in the um, elevator section. I don't know what they call the uh, away section of the game. Got ready to call it the away section. Alrighty then. <laughs> now, offensively, we need to do what we did against West Virginia. Quick, fast, short passes. Run the ball effectively, and have they not force throws? Have him play small, like he doesn't have anywhere to throw it. Just run it, which he did quite well, as we saw in the West Virginia game when he ran through their defense for the longest one of the year. But that, but that, that was West Virginia's defense. This is Texas Christian's defense. It's kind of weird talking about defense in the Big 12 game, isn't it? So right now, all two schools, Texas Christian and Texas Tech, have two of the best defenses in the league. The league, I mean, Big 12. So this game is not going to be as high scoring as other Big 12 games, but it's going to be a game I wish I was at. It's, it's bound to be exciting. In short, it's really hard for me to tell who will exactly win this game. Since we both, play, we both played equally well in defense and offense against West Virginia first and Baylor for this question. And West Virginia and Baylor basically are the same exact team defense and offense wise. And our games in Iowa State, they had a better performance against them, but that was an off game. And I hope that's not a sign that this game could go their way. Because I still think we are going to win this game. Although it could change either direction. I believe the final score would be 31 Texas Tech and... 24 Texas Christian and guns up, wait up hell, and wreck em tech. <laughs>